Hello, my name is Molly Morris and I'm a student at Liberty University. This video is my video presentation for EDLC 504. It's for the Educational Thinker presentation. In my presentation, I'd like to educate you a little bit more on Katherine Beaker. Katherine Beaker is the educational thinker that I have chose for this presentation. I hope you enjoy. Katherine Beaker was born in September of 1800. Like most other young children in the early 1800s, she was educated at home for the first 10 years of her life. Catherine had 13 other siblings who were also educated around her. She would watch her mother grow as a homemaker around her, but this did not please Catherine as she thought that she deserved the same educational background as her male siblings. Catherine would then go on to ask her parents to send her to a private school. She still was not very happy with the education that she was receiving and was very jealous of her male peers that were receiving um, education in different subjects. Catherine would then go on to teach herself these subjects such as philosophy, mathematics, algebra, and even Latin. Sadly, her mother passed away when she was 16 years old, and she moved back home to help her father with the household duties. This also called for Catherine to help raise her younger siblings. Some of her younger siblings were males, and they would go on to help her learn Latin and psychology and all those subjects that she was very passionate about. Many would think that Catherine was the first female activist known to really have a passion about education. She was very passionate that women should receive the same education as men. When she was younger or older, um, about the age of 23, her and her sister would go on to form the Hartford Female Seminary. This would be a school that would give a lot of educational opportunities to girls, especially to girls who wanted to become teachers. She knew that many men were leaving the profession and that more women should step up to become those educational roles. Catherine believed that it was important for women to be well-educated, so she taught herself and these other women to be strong leaders. She also believed that ladies benefited from a lot of physical activity. So when she would go on to create her curriculum for this school, she would be sure to include a lot of physical activity in that curriculum. She soon began writing about her curriculum to serve as a guide for other teachers. Catherine felt the primary goal of education should be to provide a basis for development of the student's coincidence and moral makeup. I think it's safe to say that Catherine was very passionate about education, and as she moved on, she would also become an author and, um, a, and provide us with 30 um, books, not only on education and her beliefs, but also just guides of home domestic life. Because more men were leaving the world of education and going into the industry, she really believed that training women as teachers was a perfect solution. She would go on to found many different um, teaching schools around her. And although Catherine felt women needed to be educated, she also believed that they should stay out of politics and was opposed to women earning the right to vote, which kind of surprised me after I learned more about her. Over her lifetime, Catherine opened numerous schools for women. She even wrote, um, she even founded schools that would be the primary goal to send teachers out west to form schools so that they could broaden the education in America. Though this work, through this work, she helped gain respect for the role of women in society and encourage women to find themselves and employ them as teachers around America. Sadly, Catherine died on May 12, 1978. She never married, she never had any children, um, she did die while she was visiting her brother Thomas, and after her death, three different teaching universities named buildings in her honor, including one in Cincinnati where she was um, born and raised. I find Catherine to be very fascinating, not only about her beliefs, but, but because she was so passionate. 
Some may say she was a little too passionate for education, but I believe that she had um, enough passion to make sure that other women around her felt that they were strong enough to follow their dreams. Thank you for my presentation. I hope you enjoyed.